Our research shows that at every age, from early childhood onwards, three simple factors, a child's and a mother's body mass index, and the mother's education level, predict the development or resolution of weight problems by adolescents. The prevalence of being overweight or obese at the age of 14 to 15 years was 13% among children with none of these three risk factors at age six to seven years. And this was compared to 71% among those with all three risk factors. Children who are overweight or obese at two to five years of age have a low chance of resolving their weight problems by adolescents when these three risk factors are present. Data was sourced from more than 6,000 participants at either birth or kinder across Australia. The child's height and weight were measured every two years. The participants and the primary caregiver also filled out a questionnaire. The study examined how combinations of 25 potential markers, such as time spent breastfeeding and amount of outdoor activity at various ages, predict and resolve weight issues. Because clinicians haven't been able to tell which children will grow up to become teens with excess weight, it's been hard to target interventions for those most at risk. The consequences of this are dire with childhood obesity predicting premature death and being implicated in cardiovascular disease, diabetes and cancer. These three easily obtainable risk factors may help clinicians make appropriate decisions targeting care to those most at risk of adolescent obesity. The benefits of removing a focus on those unlikely to need clinical interventions for obesity has until now largely been overlooked.